Welcome, guys. Jimmy back here for yet another Coca-Cola OSL video right here. To bring you back some of the old school days of Brood War. This is going to be, well, Jamie casting, obviously. And this is going to be the Coca-Cola OSL round of eight. Day number two, match three between Yellow and Boxer. This is going to be the TVZ of the day for sure. Um, and then we're going to have Into the Rain versus Sync. Um, another going to be a very entertaining TVP. Uh, as we haven't really seen in the rain really being super prosperous with this Terran versus Zerg against Boxer. Not to say that maybe Boxer winning that wasn't super expected, but in the rain though was proven to be pretty powerful in his Terran versus uh, Protoss earlier on. But that let's not get ahead of ourselves right here. It's gonna be Yellow versus Boxer. Yellow went 2-1 in the same group as Boxer did. Uh, no, no, uh, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I could be very wrong about that. So don't, 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 don't quote me. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that. But, um, let's see here. Yellow, I'm looking back. Yellow beat Sync. Uh, and that, that win by itself could, is, is a, is a warning sign. Really, I think it comes down to the map for these players. Because Boxer, Boxer only lost. If this is Ragnarok, which I don't, I don't think it can be, because Gundam versus enough on that was on that map. Boxer has won every single match in Ragnarok. Like he he's played every he's he's always played Terran versus Zergs, um, only up to the point where we played Into the Rain versus versus Into the Rain, which was a Protoss player, of course, and he beat him. Boxer is a very strong player. He has the name the Emperor for a reason, and I'm not really sure if tonight is going to be any different. Uh, yellow though, Yellow is not looking bad either. I mean, he beat Sync. Sync went 3-0 in his group. And I believe those were all Zergs. So be wary of that. Let, yeah. Sinks, Terran versus Zerg. Not bad at all. Yellow though, ugh. It's, this is, this is going to be tough. This match I am looking very forward to. Because Yellow, man, this guy's good. Boxer, I mean, I'm a huge fan of him. But Yellow though, Slayer's Boxer right there. Very, 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 very awesome. What's even, you know, I was, I actually made a thread post on Team Liquid the other day about the the, the use of calling uh, players by their actual name. So I don't, I forget Boxer's name now. It's escaping me. But uh, they said that the Korean commentators actually use their uh, call players by their actual names. Uh, but I just heard Slayer's Boxer from that Korean commentator. So maybe, I wonder when that was actually iterated. Because this, again, again this is like really, really early esports. Um, only two years into it, pretty much. Uh, so we'll have to see. They have the identical shirts, the left and right commentators. I'm not sure if that's the same. Same watch on the hand, just one's a little bit more beefy than the other. Huh. Interesting. And the other one, the guy on the left looks a lot more sketchier. Ooh, this is actually, this really makes this match a lot more interesting. Neo Hall of Valhalla against Semi, uh, Semi Island map. Oh, not, this, this map is notorious to be Terran favored. While that is true, and I will not argue otherwise, I think we're going to be interested, we're going to be in for a pretty entertaining game. Yellow, if there is a player to try to defend against Boxer, it would be. So Boxer is going to look very happy to this map because Terran 1 basing is going to be so powerful. I mean, you, you just saw it versus Gundam uh, versus Enough right there. You just see how, how powerful 1 basing can be for Terran. And, you know, even with the Lurker playing it extra safe, it just wasn't enough to stop that T-Rex tank push. And Enough, you know, fell to it. The only difference here is that you're just going to have drop shifts, I guess, um, or lowering the building on the low ground here. So, I'm interested. I, ca I can't explain my my 
excitement for this game, pretty much. Because it is day two, the round of eight. Um, now, in terms, of, both players are up, um, up one win. So I mean, one player is gonna have to go down. Uh, is gonna have to go one one at the end of this, which is gonna be unfortunate. Um, because they won't. I mean, pretty much whoever wins this game will pretty much be guaranteed to get in the, the final four. All right, now we get that we get the two kids, and now we have a mom sitting in the, in the front row right now. If you didn't pay attention last time, that seat, that seat was empty. Boxer looking looking strong with this get up right here. It's got to be uncomfortable to wear. Can like, oh, he's smiling. Boxer just being him. He looks very casual. I like that about Boxer. Alright. And right here, we, I mean, Yellow, looking pretty young in this picture. I think, was he 17 maybe? I thought Yellow was really young. But yeah, Yellow, right there. In his spacesuit, in his getup. This is professional gaming at his best. 2001. We have the fountain of smoke coming out of the stadium right here. Box to the left, yellow on the right. Let's get it in this, guys. On Neil Hall of Valhalla, Coca Cola OSL, round of eight, day two, match three, coming right up. Neil Hall of Valhalla, go, 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 go. Yellow saying, good luck, good luck. And here we go. Oh, look at that. Yellow's actually going to be yellow. Uh, at the 9 o'clock position, it will be none other than the Red Protoss. Or, wow, Red Terran Boxer right here. And at the 3 o'clock position, it will be none other than the Yellow Zerg, Yellow. Yellow being as awesome as he is, and then Boxer being Red. What's even more is that... Yellow and red are not bad colors to work with each other. And furthermore, Boxer Boxer is a... Red is my favorite color, so Boxer... If you planned way further in the future um, for the person that's making daily Mood War videos, you know, 12 years after, after this game was done, and you just knew that this worthless caster that's casting your game right now knew that his favorite color was red, Man, you are you are thinking way too far ahead. Of course, that's probably not the case. But yeah, so unfortunately for Yellow, one basing mutilus are gonna be a lot more difficult. It won't be close by air. It will be these further further along expansions, so th it won't be easy to apply pressure. If Yellow doesn't want that pressure happening, or doesn't want to apply pressure, wants to play a little bit more macro, wants to try to get those inner, inner, inner inland bases on the lower ground, probably going to be a little bit more beneficial for him because, I mean, the same thing affects... Um, I mean, Mutilus won't be able to get there as fast, but same thing for dropships, of course. So we'll have to see how that works out for him. Now remember, these lower bases right here, right here, and right here are bases that do not have gas. So in order to get gas, they need to go where that red circle is right there. And it looks like we will be transitioning back into the game. We will have a gas first right here from Boxer. Does make sense. You do want to tech as much as possible. Zerk can get as greedy as possible before going there for the pool. Some Korean sign right there. Hey! You remember when Sale was casting Pro League, Hybrid Pro League? I mean, there were, sa there were signs out for Sale right there. But not for me. Really, guys? Like, come on. I was looking forward to that. Boxer, uh, unfortunately, Yellow will be realizing that he will not be in close positions. Um, if that's what the Zerg player wants. Again, I'm just hypothesizing here as I don't even play Brood War anymore. Uh, but the mentality is that I would probably, if I'm the Zerg player in this map, I'd be like, alright. Terran in close positions, I'm gonna I'm gonna want to go meatless because I can harass. But then and also shut down. I mean, uh, the other th the other thing is uh, scourge or meatless to shut down 
dropships, of course. Th those exist there for that reason as well in this matchup, because dropship play is going to be so important, um, especially because that center, that lower ground area will get a good chunk of the map um, there, especially if you can get tanks right uh, on the lower ground. But if you really want to do really fast damage getting that dropship out there, uh, you guys don't know, um, what sometimes will happen on this map is tanks can get on the low ground and it can make it such a nuisance to go uh, because the tanks will actually reach the mineral lines and I believe even the hatchery uh, if not, if you're not careful, so it can be really, really annoying. Is he throwing down the third hatch? Is he gonna go? Wow! All right. Um, he's just droning up a ton. Uh, only thing is Boxer. Boxer might be just going for a really strong one base push. Yeah, he's getting an upgrade. He's he's just gonna go straight up to starport. He may just do the same thing what Gundam did. Um, except just adding, of course, the dropship, so it might be a little bit later delayed, so... Yellow is not anticipating a, a, a powerful push from Boxer. The only problem, though, is that, well, it's coming. Uh, and that upgrade is so early. <laughs> I mean, we're only four minutes in this game right now, but... Just wow. Alright, so... Th an interesting opening from both players. Uh, and lo oh, Hydralisks. And that's not super surprising either. Of course, you need to be able to deal with the... Mech can be an issue, um, which are obviously Hydra are the answer to that. But furthermore, again, the dropship. So y you could go Spire, um, we, as we do have the Lair coming up as well. And I think it would be silly to just negate the Spire entirely. Um, but Hydras are good to, to play defensive, of course. And again, Boxer, I wouldn't be surprised for him to throw down a starport at, at, at this time. Because he's going to get, he's gonna have to get out of his base and start attacking, of course. If that's what his plan is, and what definitely seems what he is doing. But that is so many drones. <laughs> Only if there were larva injects, of course. <laughs> wow. Nothing out of the academy, though. I guess no. I guess he is just I, purely for a uh, two medics, I guess. Just purely for medics right here, and he may go quick lurkers. I don't even know. And this looks a little weird, but that's how you get uh, units on the low ground, though. He is getting a vulture to put down mines, uh, possibly. Or it's just a scouting information. If you check for a low ground expansion, uh, vultures can be a bit to deal with. And there's a starport. Probably gonna throw down a control tower. Get down the dropship, of course. Do, do, do. Oh, I didn't realize that you could see on the. I didn't see. I didn't know you could. Maybe actually, Boxer doesn't know where his opponents spawned. Yeah. That actually makes sense, yeah. I don't like Boxer. Yeah, Boxer doesn't know his opponent. Yeah, I didn't realize that you could actually check on the high ground. Uh, I didn't realize you could see on top of that, actually. Huh. Is, 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 Yellow, is, is Yellow doing what I think he's doing? Did he just retreat everything off the side of the... On the side of... Okay, no, he knows. Okay, so he knows now. No, actually, no, there's no way. There's no way that they see the high ground on that. There's no way. Because that, that's considered high ground, and there's a spire. Okay. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, okay. So, Boxman will now know, because the um, Hydra attacked. So, that's going to be interesting itself if you were to, like, against a Terran, like, they don't know where you are. Like, keep your Hydras in, 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 inward so you uh, can defend well. But this push should be coming up momentarily. Oh, wait, 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 what? A vessel? Boxer, you are confusing me so much right now. If he's thinking of that, could it be a dropship then vessel? It could be, it could be very possible. Or it could be for like, possible for a very quick plus two. Oh wow, Boxer, you are, you're going too fast right now. No, okay, there's a dropship, okay. But then, so he must be just starting a quick plus two, I guess. Fascinating. I, I love the, uh, those shots though are sometimes so annoying, but 
Oh, look at that. Look at that Hydra. But how can you see on the high ground? Maybe you can see up there. Can you actually see up there? I didn't... Uh, this is problematic, though. Um, if Yellow doesn't know this is coming, this could just be game over. I have to assume, though, that he knows that this is coming. Alright, this is a powerful bio push. Coming in. Uh, there's a lot of Hydras to deal with this, so it looks like he may be... He's just gonna lift up all of his overlords full. This is bad. Box is gonna hit right when those mu when those hydras aren't gonna be out right here. No, okay, so they're gonna be loading them on the low ground. Okay. All right, boxer. We'll see what you'll do here. Overlord speed here. These hydras are coming in here to do the damage that they want to do. Uh, unfortunately, though, if they go for the the base, there's not gonna be a whole lot in there. Uh, there is a. Uh, a couple bio right there. Oh, but these these overlords are gonna be in so much trouble right here. Gonna be going right over the the bio right now. This is dot. Oh, okay. Oh, they're gonna be stimming right here. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Well, okay. Just got out of there in time. Ooh. That could have been so disastrous. And it looks like Yellow has expanded on the top right hand corner. He looks like he's gonna try to go around, maybe do some more, try to go and swoop back in. The Boxer will know about this push right now, and we do have a double expansion followed up by Yellow right here. And he will have the drone count too, probably just start uh, transferring over right here. The Medics are already in position to see that, and Yellow does see that, and we do already have the stim coming out of Boxer. He was well prepared for that. And really, Yellow's, Yellow's gonna have no chance to really kind of attack Boxer off this one base considering of how defensive we've seen boxer up to this point uh, now we have tanks and i'm just wondering at this time you know of course there's a reason why box put him on the low ground i'm just wondering why because none of the bases are actually going to be on the central part and while it's nice to move your bio around but wouldn't it just be easier to put him on the on the high ground question that. There's a point, I just... I'm too stupid to realize why. Oh. These might be full of bio. Box is checking for expansions, but as we can see, Yellow has expanded to the north. I mean, I believe he's going to put one at the 12 o'clock right now soon, too. And I believe... Ooh, that vulture. Even the vulture might be able to hit, pick off the noise here. Oh no, oh no, this could be bad. This could be bad for Boxer Kitty. Oh, Boxer, please, God, no. Oh, Boxer. Oh no. Boxer, no. Wow. That is a very nice pickup for Yellow. Not only does that have to thwart the vessel production of a Boxer off of one base, um, he can't he can't move too quick. And he's a plus. He's a very quick plus two right now. Finally getting up that expansion. Wow. Yeah, All right, we do have yellow pushing on the center part. Going to be clearing up that one lone vulture to make sure that it doesn't scout anymore. Ever so important. And it looks like we do see it. We do have yellow has dropped the hatchery at the 12 o'clock at this point. Wow. And Boxer should be lifting off his command center. Yep, there we go. To the mineral only. So he's going to be probably, can, probably gonna, still going to just stay off of this bio route for, for quite some time as he's only off of one gas. Unless he does decide to take the center base right here. Wow. He's continuing to drop these hydras. We'll see what he will do to defend. Or do he needs to do some kind of damage to Boxer because Boxer is just gonna. Boxer might just be in a scenario where he's just gonna constantly just stay off of one base economy and be a, a nuisance while off that one base economy because the Terrans are gonna be so hard to kill off. But it looks like he's gonna finally situate himself on the high ground. And this is where he might be able to take that lower ground expansion right there if he can get the tanks on the high ground, of course. Right. Evolution chamber down, uh, of course. Now, the interesting thing is, where does Yellow go from here? We're seeing him 
going up and down the map with his hydralisks. Um, maybe trying to intercept some dropships, of course. And he does have a, scr a scourge patrolling on the south side. But what does he hope to accomplish at this time? We need to see him... I like to see him do something. Okay, so Box is going to be expanding here. But will we see like a lurker bust or, or something? Or is he just going to take another expansion? I hope he does something. As but he, or play a little bit more defensive right here because this is a very powerful push coming in right here. Uh, and he in box is gonna go for like a doom drop, even though that's kind of how you engage in this map. But that is oh, that's a lot of hydras, but that's a lot of that's a lot of Terran. And he'll know about this push right here. He will lose an overlord. Uh, those hydras are not in the position that they need to be in here, but maybe those patrolling hydras at the 12 o'clock will be enough to kill off the dropships. But what Terran can do though is put Sea Chinks on the low ground and start pot shotting while he can drop the bio in there. This is why, again, why Terran can be so powerful on this map, um, as Zerg will have a very difficult time dealing with those tanks, especially despite them only mi missing 70 or 25 or 50 percent of the time. Uh, and we may we may even just be able to finally see right here that the, uh, those tanks might be able to on the high ground can shoot at the middle line here. Oh, these lurkers though, not too good against tanks, but oh, they're gonna be lifted up in the drop ships right here. Can, can boxer can yellow kill off kill off the drop ships right here? He will be engaging in bio versus hydra. I mean, not ideal for Zerg, but there might just be too many hydras here. Uh, no, apparently there weren't even that many marines in that, and there were, a lot of them weren't even shooting. Um, the lurkers are kind of trying to come here in range right here, but it looks like Box's army no will not be enough from yellow. Very surprising. Boxer will clean that up. He'll have to turn around, of course, now, but Yellow did what he needed to do. Uh, no, Boxer's going to go on. Look at Boxer. And this is what I was talking about. You can um, siege up um, right up here. But uh, as you'll notice... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the drones will, will not die. Finally, will die though. So that gas is in trouble. And we'll continue to take splash damage on the extractor as well. We will have the hive tech. We have a lot of lurkers warping. Uh, 8, 12, or 13 of them. More dropships are on the R end route for Boxer at this time. Can Yellow uh, afford to keep on defending? Boxers are going to be situated off a of three base right here. Yellow's not in an optimal si situation at all for trading his entire army. He's not in a position because it's so hard to reinforce on this map because you have to continue to drop on the low ground right here. This this base is in range as you can as you can see. Sea Chinks have an unfair amount of uh, range right here. These look are trying to borrow on the high ground, trying to get in range of the buyer right here. It looks like they're going to be able to get a couple kills right here. Nice positioning from Yellow right here. Boxers taking a lot of fire from these lurkers. Surprisingly, can they move them up further? No, they will not. And, but these tanks are still the main threat right here. While playing a bio kills is nice. Those tanks are the main issue. Oh, but it looks like we have some counter crafts. It looks like we had a counter drop from Yellow at that uh, right there. So that was really, really nice. That's what Yellow really needed to do to get, to get back at Boxer. He has he he has sustained himself a little bit right here. Um, but, but what Yellow probably wants to be able to do is secure yet another base, but I'm not really sure if that's possible at this time. Box is being so un re unrelentless. He's even moved all his production facilities on the low ground. Uh, and these patrolling surge. But it is a shame though that Yellow didn't wasn't able to kill off the command center of Boxer, so he will be able to repair that and float that over once again, and probably just secure more turrets up there when the time comes. Yellow, but remember, Yellow is still only off a two. Off of two bases at this time. Boxer looks like he's finally mined out of his main, though. But uh, if you guys don't know, this map does have a extra mineral patch in the main base. Instead of the regular 9 or 8, there is 9 or 10. There's one more. Um, it also makes some for some really weird pathing too, because like on the far end patches, like you need like four workers to make to like fully saturate it. Well, is that the first vessel of this game? Because we don't have defilers right now. Like imagine if we saw defilers from yellow. Imagine how different this game would have been. Like a defensive. What? What? Oh wait. 
And Boxer will finally try to resituate himself. But imagine if we had Lurkers with Dark Swarm right now. Or Defilers right now. It would be so good for Zerg. But I don't think, but then again, he doesn't have the guess for it. The Lurkers and the Hydra army is coming in here. That's so much Zerg from Yellow right now. Yellow's trying to go in here. Oh, look how many medics have died right here. The Hydras are just cleaning up all the tanks right here. Very nice pickup from uh, for Yellow, of course, because Box doesn't have that much gas. Uh, he might just be Yellow will be able to just clean up everything, and Boxster has. This is wow. That's exactly what Yellow needed to do right there. I didn't think it was possible, but Boxster lost a good chunk of his army right here. Thankfully, he does have the barracks on the low ground to continue uh, continues up. But it looks like that third base is still being commanded, though, and he really needs to do something about that. If he, if he can stop this from mining for a for a decent amount of time, Yellow is j right back in this game. We do have Greater Spire Road, so it looks like we will have a, a, a Guardian transition coming up. It does make sense as this as this because this uh, there's so many different levels to this map. Yeah. Lurkers will be going on to that refinery right now, which is kind of the most important thing here. He will be dropping these overlords worth of units in here. Will he be able to drop them? Hydras are just kind of dying as they spawn out of this. Finally starting to get out um, some Hydras out, but they look like they're just dying right now. And the refinery will go down. So Boxer will not have the gas income that he really needs to have to sustain a this kind of army as it's been purely marine medic but with the occasional text tanks which are so important uh, and it looks like we do have a base in the bottom right hand corner being situated for yellow at this time and we have a nidus, nidus canal that's nice you know i'm very surprised the, 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 the what i'd really like to see from yellow right now would be a defiler defiler run but not only that um I'm surprised that it, it takes this long to get a nice canal out. I've, is it, I believe it's Hivetech actually that you need nice canal. Uh, this is actually problematic. This is really problematic. Uh, yellow, and that's why that's why he was able to do so much damage with that push earlier on. Um, what Bar what yellow did is that he had he had this constant patrolling hydro force at this 12, so this so this wouldn't happen. But as you can see, when he gets rid of the hydras, this happens, and this whole 12 o'clock is dead. And he will be sitting back here. Two lurkers are not going to be enough to deal with this. Uh, yeah, instantly cl cleaned up. Yellow yellow is in a lot of trouble right now because that was the main source of economy from there because the main bases have so many minerals and a decent amount of gas on them, and all these drones are done. I'm trying to, be trying to uh, pick him up in the Overlord right here, but if he if Boxer feel, feels like it's necessary, you can always stim and kill it off. And Boxer is, is going to be fine off this two-base economy while Yellow is going to be off that, like, two or one at this time. Yeah, Yellow is starting to quickly recede from the game right now. There's not a whole lot of Yellow on the map anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I'm afraid one Guardian is not going to make up for the, the the loss gas that he has. Um, he doesn't, yeah, he, he's still making one Guardian at a time. Because he, he, he doesn't have anything. He, he doesn't have the, the gas to do it. Which is very sad. Well, it might have been better is to rush for Hive Tech off of one base, and, uh, but it, honestly, but Zergs have such a hard, they have a difficult time on this map. It's it's not to be, ex it's not to be. I can't say this is not predicted to happen, despite these high level players. Yellow did he, Yellow did his best, and with Boxer taking yet another gas. I mean, with with the with the two gases, I mean, Mech is going to be ever so more viable. Uh, and Boxer's mech is notorious for being very good, or world is world renowned because it's so good. And <laughs> tanks are so good on this map. Um, and with the Goliath coming out eventually to deal with the Guardians, it's only it's 
Only a matter of time before the tech switch. The Guardians are going to try to do what they can, though. And who knows, maybe Yellow can, you know, reclaim another base. Or two. Uh, we'll be coming in here, though, because Tanks will not be able to do that. But these Bio, will they be able to get in here? The Hydras are going to try to defend these Guardians. One stray Guardians going down the south right here may get picked off. No, there we go. Doing a, a good amount of damage so far. I'm not sure. Was Boxer expecting this? No answer yet. Boxer's. Where is the answer? Does he ever radiate? He may have not gotten a radiate. He may have not been in the time period for to get a radiate to stop Guardians. But, uh, uh, a good amount of damage being done here. Um, if left unchecked, Yellow can do so much damage with this. Um, I think the main issue is that Boxer has so much of, of his army at the 12 that he's not doing anything with. Uh, this is the issue with Bio. They kind of tear apart Hydralisks. Um, that's so many Marines. Wow. That's kind of, that's very scary from Boxer. Uh, and the Guardians look like they're retreating for the time being. I mean, good amount of damage being done, of course, to uh, to Boxer from Yellow. But, oh, I think all the Guardians just got swept up right there. I'm looking at the mini map. Our, our commentator dudes aren't helping, but I believe everything got cleaned up. What are you doing, my, my friend? Uh, Korean dude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties. Wow. Um, I will give you a casting from the mini map. It looks like Boxer is coming back to do what they can. Um, at the right. Oh no, Boxer's going into the uh, that center base right there. Uh, that two o'clock, advancing in there. This red is looking not so great right now. Oh no. Well, this is this is disappointing. This is box versus yellow. <laughs> wow. This is. I'd rather have I'd rather have a panning view of the battle than nothing. <laughs> he found how to kill. Cool. All right. <laughs> Wow. Well, this base is in turmoil now. Boxer, being how crazy he is, um, but he did stim and kill off all the guardians if you didn't look at the mini map at the time. Uh, this is. Why do we have to see his main base? <laughs> <laughs> GG by yellow. Not not super surprising. Well done. Well done. Yellow will take that win, guys. That was a very fun match to watch. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Coming up next, Into the Rain versus Sync. Another entertaining game. Boxer fanning himself out there. Entertaining game. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.